Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can use the location column into modern SharePoint list and as well as uh, to show that location onto a map using uh, ping maps static imagery APIs. And right now you can see I have created one vendor location list. So this list is actually having this uh, location column where I can just uh, start filling my location and with the help of format JSON, I am showing the maps in one of the column which shows the location of that factory. So this is what we are going to build today. And if you are familiar with location column so, and with the classic list as well, then you might have uh, seen this earlier that we used to have that map view one uh, uh, by default view when we use the location as map into the classic list but that is not available into the modern one so this is the replacement of that uh, view whenever you want to pin or show something on the map then we can leverage this solution to show that so before that i'll just uh, go to the home page and start creating this list from scratch so this list doesn't have like much complexity it's just normal office location list and i'll just add one column that is normal location column from this speaker i'll just scroll down and take my this location and see next in this location i'll just say office location and select states city and coordinate so these coordinates we are going to work with because we have to use these coordinates using our Bing maps to show that map point into this uh, view. Right. So I'll just add a couple of items. Uh, New Jersey factory one. And I'll just select that from map, the location field, factory. And I'll just pick any random location. And let's do that for another item, New York Factory 2. And we'll use the New York Factory random point so that I can just save it. So I have these two entries. So as I said, like in classic one, I'll just uh, return to classic uh, to show you that what we used to have, but now we don't have it. So I'll just quickly return to classic. And in the list, we have the option to create a view. And because we are using location as field, so we have the option to create map view. And if I quickly just create this map view, let's see map view and save it. So in classic, it used to give you a map where these uh, locations are pointed. So in modern, we don't have that flexibility or that option as of now. But still, the solution which I'm going to show you, you can still show the locations on your list views so let's switch back to the modern one and now we are going to add one more column to it so that we can utilize the bing map so before that i'll just tell you like how you can get a static map out of bing maps so using this api url so it's a dab virtual earth.net rest imagery and this will give us an image with a central point central point will be passing as our coordinates from the location field we can define the zoom level so tell what uh, zoom level you want to have your map to be pinned so it can be 1 2 10 and map size the dimension of the map and you can define the format of the map and as well as the other metadata and the most important you have to use the bing map keys so you can register with any of your id and get that free api key so that you can call this uh, api endpoint so this is what we are going to use with our list format JSON so that we can start showing the map point on our office locations. So let's get back again to our list. And now I'll start adding one more column and that column would be of type text. I'll just say map uh, view and I'll choose that as multi-line, save it. And now in this, I will use format this column and I sh can show you one of the JSON which I have already written. It's having element type as image and it's calling that endpoint which I just showcased you. That imagery which will give us imagery point with a central point, the pinpoint on it with your location coordinates. 
so in the text i actually written this so that we can view what coordinates we are getting but we have to pass on this coordinates to a central point so that it the the api can pick these coordinates so these are actually like looking up from this look lookup field location dot coordinates dot latitude location dot coordinates longitude so these both points we have to pass on with our map size i just picked the smaller map size and over here you have to pass on your bing map key so that would be the endpoints i'll just paste this entire json so that you can directly reuse this into your view rather than like uh, struggling writing it from scratch so i'll just copy this and paste it over here in the advanced mode and i can just paste this and preview this so right now because we have used the column name as office location and this json is having this location so i have to rename this field office location and this office location coordinates and over here as well office location all right so and i can as well as copy this so that it can be uh, shown into my text area as well i'll just copy this part and paste it over here and now copy the entire piece paste it into this preview now i have started looking at this map so this is the map point where it is it is pointing and it it depends on the zoom level it's showing you the other areas nearby and this 40 minus 74 these are the longitude and latitude so i can just simply save it and with this quick thing i have this view of my locations factory locations same as that what we used to have in the classic but before that let's do that place this map view as well into the form so i can just quickly go to my configure layout over here i can go to this footer and again i'll just copy my this and i can review this so right now because this is a new item there are nothing location is being provided but when i save it and go to the existing one so i can simply see my location over here with the longitude and latitude so we are simply using the location by default column to show that on our Bing maps. So this is a quick solution. If you wish to represent your locations over a map within your SharePoint disk without writing a single line of code, this is the solution. So it was a requirement for one of my assignments. So I did the same. So probably you, it could come to you as well in future. So that's why it's a reference point for you. And if you like, like it, then please do subscribe and drop your comments if, in case of any question. So I think that is for today. Thank you.